Blessings, everyone. This is Sandra Walter coming to you from Joshua Tree in California in the National Park. I'm in Black Rock Canyon, and I've been called on a mission. <laughs> it's uh, something I've actually been avoiding, but as cosmic timing has it, things present, and all of a sudden everything gets taken out of the way, and you have a choice. <laughs> the, the free will um, kind of gets uh, taken over. You can always say no, but here I am. Uh, I, I hit the road last week, not knowing exactly what was what was going on, um, and uh, as it turns out, within the first few hours, uh, I realized that I was on a mission to open fifth dimensional portals all the way through this, uh, what, the, what higher levels are calling a crystalline corridor, all the way through the Sierra Nevadas, down to the Mojave, through uh, into Sedona. Um, as with any of these missions, <laughs> uh, it's not a matter of you being selected, it's a matter of volunteering, being open, and next thing you know, here I am. So it's, uh, I would like to invite everyone to contribute to this, this phase that we're in right now. In April and May, we're having a lot of uh, work with the elementals, the kingdoms, and these vortex slash portals. Uh, opening up to connect with that interdimensional light that's coming through that I talked about um, uh, just prior to the equinox. A lot has changed for me since the equinox. The energy is, is incredible. i um, having a little bit of, of difficulty with the linear, <laughs> the linear stuff, but it is what it is. Um, the, the fifth dimensional frequency is, is so strong and we're able to work with it now. So if you are a light server and you've been feeling unemployed, here's your chance to jump in and, and, and join. So what we're doing is we're opening up these fifth dimensional portals. It's like a, a vortex energy, a stargate energy, and it aligns with the energy that's coming through those interdimensional portals that are penetrating the planet, really forcing in this uh, photonic magnetic light that's causing that ascension, the evolution, the changes, and, and it's happening very quickly. So this is something we can amplify and work with and accelerate the process, and most of us want that, so here we go. Uh, what you can do is, um, of course, follow your, your own intuition. Uh, what I'm doing is I have bags and bags and bags of just simple um, Lemurian quartz points. They're just a uh, little... <laughs> Excuse me, honey. Just, yeah, thanks. Um, they're, they're just quartz points that are, mine happen to be Lemurians. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you can't afford a, a big bag of crystal points, you know, they don't have to be high quality or, or jewelry grade or anything like that. Um, just, just quartz. You know, quartz is, is very easy to program. That's why the skulls are made of quartz, of, of crystal like this. Um, it, it's easy to program. And these have been we're, we're cleansed for, for a while in the mineral springs uh, up by Mount Shasta and with the intention of opening and anchoring these fifth dimensional frequencies and then opening up wherever Gaia decides, wherever the higher levels decide to, um, to direct you. You might feel the vortex energy, you might uh, be drawn to a sacred site, we have a Pleiadian, Syrian, Lemurian alliance going on right now that's working with crop circles, sacred sites, and these natural vortexes, which of course the, the, the most sacred is, is right within your heart center, that, that diamond, that, that beautiful energy. I'll, I'll talk about that in a, in a different video, the, the solar cosmic Christed light that's, that's coming forth right now. Okay, back to the mission. If, if you can get your hands on uh, just a bunch of quartz points, um, what you can do in order to, of course your intention is going to be the strongest part of this, is your intention, the pure intention to serve. You're not trying to direct Gaia to do something she, that she doesn't want to do. This is, this is something that's, that's uh, complementing the ascension process of Gaia and, and the planet. Now you can either plant these uh, you know, face up if you have a, a pendulum. I know I, I went over this in the course, so sorry if it's if it's repetitive. But you can use a pendulum to to um, decipher which direction they want they want to point in. Um, 
or you can you can simply just anchor them down into the planet put them in a pattern don't put them in a pattern if you're if you're traveling and you want to just you know with, with the intention brother and sister crystals with the brothers and sisters deep within the planet I call upon your frequency and your ability to anchor and hold this intention I open the fifth dimensional portals within Gaia within this planet working with the interdimensional light that is coming through at this time to accelerate speed up the ascension process of humanity the planet the kingdoms and the elementals open 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 accelerate let the light come through and let the light come forth now when you say light coming forth that's coming forth for you coming forth from the planet this interdimensional light the photonic stuff that's coming in now is heating up the core of Gaia and creating this light frequency that is expanding all throughout the planet and as as that's that's happening because the magnetosphere is, is so uh, diminished at this point the the our intentions are are very similar to what Gaia is working with her intention to ascend into her higher and, and join with her higher ascended self just as with us we want to emerge with the higher self that fifth dimensional vibration six dimensional um, and have access all the way up to 12 we we can use the intention to expand that consciousness and it's just it's exactly what we're doing now but we, what we're doing is we're, we're going all over the planet and we're saying right here right now thank you open 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 Thank you. Open the portals. Open the fifth dimensional portals. Align with the interdimensional light. Let the interdimensional light come through and let the intentions of Gaia and all of the light server servers, all of the crystalline grid intentions, let them be amplified and let us expand into the fifth dimensional frequency here and now. I call this forth in the name of the divine human creator incarnate that I am the solar cosmic Christ, that I am the ascended master, that I am. And you go ahead and you open up these portals. Envision it however you like. If you want to do it with art, if you want to do it with crystals, if you can't afford it, do it with the stuff that's that's right there. You know, this is this is this is Gaia. You know, this is our, our kingdoms, you know, our elementals. We're working with this right now. Go ahead and if you want to set up a medicine wheel, it doesn't matter. Use your intuition, use your creative intelligence. This is a, a level of spiritual maturity that we're reaching now. So this isn't, you know, just we're just playing around and everything. We're, we're, we're doing the work. You know, this is the work. And it's done with joy, and it's done with pure intention from the heart. So you can either plant them right in the ground. It, do, it doesn't matter where they go. All of the ground is sacred. You know, we're, we're turning into a spiritual sun here on this planet. It's uh, all of the ground is sacred. Every cell in your body is sacred. This is this is something that, you know, the word sacred, you can associate it with religion all you want. The truth is, it's divine. It's special. It's unique. You have a very unique expression going on on this planet. And the ascension process is going to reveal more and more of that in your your connection with the galaxy and the universe is uh, is coming down the pipe pretty quickly, and I must say that the the interaction with the star brethren and the higher levels in Joshua Tree and all the way through this corridor, I've been through Lake Tahoe, gorgeous Yosemite, gorgeous <laughs> the the Sierra Nevadas, the sequoias, those giant sequoias. They're actually beings. Not actually trees. <laughs> They're actually beings, uh, which is incredible to work with. And Kings Canyon, aka Valley of the Kings. I don't know if y'all have been there. Take a look around. You're like, I'm surrounded by pyramids. Okay. Uh, and and all through the Mojave Desert, which some people are going to say, oh, that's that's being used for the dark or whatever. You have to realize. You have to grow up. This is the maturity. Grow up. Realize that even the dark is being transformed. The folks that, that uh, the people have been fighting 
for, for so long have had access to some extraordinary information, and they are smart. Let's not underestimate the, uh, the, the access that they've had to all kinds of information. They, they know what's going on. You know, this isn't about, oh, they're trying to kill us. You know, this is, um, as the, ooh, as suspicious observers say, you know, oh, here's, <laughs> eyes open, no fear. Um, go ahead and support them, by the way. They have a shop now. Um, they're, they're doing a lawsuit against YouTube. Go ahead and, and uh, give them, throw, throw them some money. Buy yourself a water bottle or something. Um, as they said, you know, you're, you're not the, uh, you're not the victim, you're the prize. You know, this is, uh, humanity is a very unique expression, and as they open up, I mean, no one is, is uh, impenetrable to, to this frequency. The, you know, photonic is, is autonomous, you know, it's order, balance, harmony, thou shalt ascend. <laughs> it's, uh, no one can really avoid it. You can fight it as long as you want, but don't underestimate the intelligence of those who have may have been working for the wrong team for a while and now have completely changed the game. You know, this Joshua Tree is home to the largest marine base in the world is here. And you can, you walk right up to the gate, you know, with a, a two tourist crop circle and, and, your, and your crystals hanging around your neck and everything. Watch the reaction when you approach with an open heart and just want to be there and just want to talk or throw some crystals on the ground. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised at, at the, the reaction. Everyone is changing. It may seem subtle, it may seem polarized. You know, it's, it's strange when you come out of a place like Shasta that's pretty much all about introspection. Everyone's very, you know, into their own their their own process and, and, and their own light work and, and very um, a little isolated and you you come out of that and you see people racing around Joshua Tree is very close to LA and Palm Springs and, and places like that and it's it, you you come here and you're like a, the traffic is zooming around people are impatient and everything and yet you're holding that that light you're holding that frequency. And to see the effect that it has on other people is amazing. So let's get back to the portals. If you would like to participate in the next couple of months preparing for the solstice, I mean, June is going, is going to be gorgeous. It's going to be beautiful. And we have a little bit of work to do in April and May. So, so here's your task if, if you choose to participate. Uh, get some crystals, program, clear them program them. Connect all the fifth dimensional portals on this planet. Have that attention. Open up the fifth dimensional portals. All of the vortexes. Open up the vortex within myself and anchor and bring in and amplify. Accelerate this process of ascension. I call forth the photonic magnetic light. The cosmic rays of evolution. The photonic amplifications. The ascension codes, harmonic sounds, tones, colors, all of this. Cleanse and clear and balance. Balance, harmony, love, light, peace. And with that intention, plant the crystals in the ground, roam over fences, <laughs> do, do whatever you want to do. Spread, spread the love around. You know, the crystals don't mind. There's a lot of respect. Thank you very much. Anchor, open. You know, this is uh, how easy it is, and you're just spreading that intention all over. And then when you start connecting that, connect all of them. I connect this intention, all of these fifth dimensional portals that are opening here and now, all of my intentions. I connect all of this crystalline corridor with the work that every light server is doing all over this planet. Connect our intentions and amplify, accelerate them. traveling all the way through uh, Joshua Tree. I'm going to be here for another couple of days. And then I'm going uh, through the Mojave to Sedona. Might end up in Gallup, New Mexico. Mm. 
Inscription Rock is is somewhere that struck me uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, maybe I can put a picture of me standing on Inscription Rock on this video. But uh, I, I, I might go all the way there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how the guidance goes. However, um, I'd like to kind of hunker down in, in Sedona and get some, some training videos done. I have a lot of uh, material that I'd like to share, uh, but I need to be in one place for, for a couple of weeks and, and get a computer set up and have some uh, a place to, to sleep and work and everything. So if you're in Sedona, I would love to connect with you. Contact me through my website. should mention my website here because a lot of people are like, oh, you don't do more videos. I'm like, I'm, I'm a writer. <laughs> so go to, go to my website, sandrawalter.com. And uh, if you want to accelerate your ascension process, sign up for the e-course. It's there. It's 25 hours of really beautiful information. I'm so blessed to receive the emails from people who are in the course who have said, this, this changes everything. It's a, it's a different, I know it's a different perspective. And it, for, for some folks, it doesn't resonate with uh, some of the old teachings. Um, and that's fine. I, I, I respect all, all the teachings, you know, wherever you're at, you're at. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going with this because there's a lot of new information coming in. I'm sorry. There's a lot of new information coming in that um, I, I just want to run with. And my mission has changed quite a bit. I mean, I'm not in, in Mount Shasta on the mountain in the, in the freezing cold anymore. It's kind of nice to be warm. I have, I have, uh, here's how things change. I used to be, I used to just, just despise the desert. I just hated it. It was, it was, I hated driving through the Mojave. I, I just, it used to just cause full-blown anxiety attacks. I went to Mono Lake, had a full-blown anxiety attack years ago. Things have changed. I'm, I'm fine here. You know, everywhere is, is good. All this stuff has been healed because I did the work. I mean, let's talk about the, the clearing. A lot of people freaking out right now. Everything seems so hard. And, uh, the emotion and everything. Do, do the work. You know, this is about uh, ousting, it has been, about ousting the fears, facing the fears, facing the shadow. I will do, I promise, if I can find a space, I will do a video on emotional clearing and shadow work that will be uh, very focused and very clear on how to get through that very quickly because there's, there's no need to stay in that space. A lot of people read about, oh yes, we're clearing right now, but they don't actually do the work. This is, this is your freedom you're talking about. And the same with the conspiracy folks. You know, you started by, by wanting freedom, and then you kind of get stuck there. So it's, when we're talking about freedom, we're talking about everybody feeling this good, being this in love with everything. And it is, it is about the love. Can't avoid it. <laughs> you can't avoid the, the, the return of the Christ, the Christ itself, the heart center opening up, joining with uh, everything that is. It's incredible. And the energy is incredible. And if you can't feel it, it's just because you're not being quiet. Healing takes relaxation, silence. You're going to find that still point silence within, and it's all going to be there, you're, you're going to have a revelation, oh, that's what it's about, <laughs> so thank you very much, I love you all so very much, and I will talk to you soon, many blessings.